Now, for the word forensic comes from the Latin word forum, that means for the law courts. In other words, all these uh, results and knowledge and so on will be presented in law courts and lawsuits and so on. Generally, for most crime scenes, when we approach the scene itself, the weapon is definitely an important piece of evidence that law enforcement officers will want to find. If we talk about a gang fight, multiple weapons will be used. So depending on the injuries and also on the damages that we observe on the victim's clothing, these are all um, giving clues as to what that weapon that caused that injury could be. Because each weapon itself has its own shape and design and sharpness or its blunt and the function, the intended function of the weapon itself. If we are talking about a case whereby there are multiple assailants and then you have one victim, one disease, first of all, we will have to determine from the autopsy report where is the location of this fatal wound. Most of the time, fatal cuts are to the neck and it involves the carotid artery. The carotid artery is one of the major blood vessels that supplies blood to the head uh, and brain. And if it is cut, the bleeding can be very profuse and the patient may uh, lose a lot of blood in a short time. And the patient's life will be very much endangered. On the clothing itself, we will examine microscopically how neat the cut is or how clean the edges are or even the shape and design of that particular damage, it can point to the possibility of certain tools. Let's say one of them is a serrated knife. That serration itself may leave behind fine striation marks on the victim's body. And if it happened that the fibres around the fatal wound is of a different colour, so that will be evidence that show that a serrated knife was used. And if we can find these fibres on this serrated knife that we suspect caused the fatal injury, then yes, that will be even stronger evidence to suggest that it was this serrated knife that caused a fatal injury. So for cases like that, sieving through the pieces of evidence, looking at each one systematically, and then eventually finding an association between them helps to form the final story or what are the possible events that could have happened in a particular crime scene.